Hello, Ms. Bryant. We've come today to ask you some questions about your experience with SAD. What is SAD? SAD is um, a national organization that stands for Students Against Destructive Decisions. And we are a single chapter of the whole total SAD organization in the United States. How long has SAD been around? Quite a while. Um, I think it dates back to the actually the early 80s when um, a teacher and coach um, on the West Coast began SAD because they had a student, a wrestler actually, that was killed in a drunk driving accident and he had launched the first chapter of SAD and it uh, just grew and grew and grew and grew just from him wanting to raise awareness originally to uh, kids about the dangers of drunk driving and then in the 90s it, it ballooned out to students against destructive decisions and then that was more than just drunk driving. Okay. What is the main objective? It, I think the, the whole mission is to get young people to really, really take ownership of the decisions they're making and how it's going to affect both their present and their future and also people around them. So the whole mission of SAD is to raise awareness, to encourage kids and to support kids who make safe, legal, and, and healthy, smart decisions. Okay. Do you think SAD has changed in your use it? I do, and I, and I say that based on just kids who will make a comment to me about how, you know, how they felt uh, stronger to say no when they could have had the opportunity to say yes. That help the people I love. We can make many changes. It helped me re make responsible decisions in my life. Sad helped me realize I'm such a piece of crap. How did you come up with the car crash scene? Which on the on the mock accident? Yeah. We work with um, uh, all the local emergency personnel, from our police department to the EMTs and the firefighters, even the Wayne County. Um, Homeland Security guy is involved in making that plan and and then they involve the helicopter to fly in and and every year we try to every year that we've done it we've tried to create like one year we did a head-on another another year we did a t-bone and then the this last year when we did it um, we decided to have a uh, have the reenactment like a single vehicle rollover and uh, the fire and rescue crew, they use it as a training session when we do it here at school for SAD. And, and they liked that because it was a really big challenge for them to, to get our students out of the wrecked vehicle in that kind of position like it was. So it's, it's I think, very realistic. That's our goal. Why is it important to, to you to get these ideas across to the students? Save their life. Save a life. You know, and that's the ultimate goal is I mean I know kids know it but when they you know when they when they slow down and they think about what's at risk not just for their own well-being but everybody else's in and, and, and I think that's so important that every decision that we make affects so many of the people we don't even realize it and 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 that I think that helps keep me motivated to keep doing it and keep encouraging kids to stay involved and be involved and have a voice and talk about what is smart? What is safe? What would you want to say to the students who come to the SAD meetings and then make a destructive decision? We talk in SAD, we talk about, you know, walking the walk and talking the talk. I mean, I know there are kids that are hypocrites that say one thing and turn right around and do, do you know, do the very opposite, but I guess I guess my thought is to be optimistic or hopeful. Well, Ms. Bryant, thank you for your time and thank you for the information. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm so honored. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it.